automation or even or the addition of new tasks, you know, it affects you not just because it affects the quantity of things you do, but also how expert they are. And eliminating work might make you more expert because it removes supporting tasks. It might be less expert because it eliminates your specialized tasks. And so we bring this idea to the data in a, uh, in a kind of a, uh, looking over four years of data and trying to measure expertise and changes in tasks. And what we find is really interesting. Jo some jobs become more expert, either because inexpert tasks are removed and or expert tasks are added. Some jobs become less expert because expert tasks are removed or because inexpert tasks are added. Those two things move wages as you would expect. When jobs become more expert, they become relatively higher wage. When jobs become less expert, they become relatively lower wage. But the interesting thing is they have the opposite effect on employment. When a job becomes less expert, more people are able to enter and do it. Think of the, you know, what Lyft did for, you know, taxi and chauffeur driving, right? When a job becomes more expert, wages rise, but often employment does not because you've made it much more specialized. So and another example is the job of proofreader, right? Proofreading used to be mostly about mechanical checking, right? Spelling, uh, you know, formatting, uh, references and citations and footnotes, right? Now that's all mechanized and it's automated. What proofreaders do now is they help you improve your writing which is a really hard thing to do. They are paid much more than they were relative to other people, you know, 40 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, but there are many fewer of them uh, as a share of employment. Now, partly maybe we just, you know, don't need as many, but partly because uh, it's a harder job. You need to think about what is the, the totality of things people are doing, which are the specialized expert work for where their real skill lies, which are the sort of supporting tasks, and does exposure to you know, either automation or new technologies, does it, increase the expertise required, the specialization, in which case it may tend to raise wages, but actually make it harder for people to do it? Or does it take away the skilled work, the expertise, in which case it will tend to lower wages, but perhaps it'll create new opportunity. And Uber actually is a very good case in point because taxi drivers, by and large, are not happy about Uber. <laughs> it's created a lot more competition for them. On the other hand, the people who do Uber are often doing something better than they previously would have done. Right, it's opened a new type of opportunity. So it creates more competition for the incumbent experts. And so that's also part of the complexity. And what's interesting about this period is it's very possible that AI will change who can do certain types of work, right? Maybe will more people be able to do coding? Maybe more people will provide some medical services, some legal services, you know, kitchen design, skilled repair. Now, if you're a person who does that work, you're like, well, you know, I don't want that. I don't want anyone to be able to do what I do, right? What I do is really specialized. And that's real. That's a real form of competition. On the other hand, it may mean people who would have been doing something that was less valuable and for which was not as appealing an opportunity can all of a sudden do something that's more valuable. So when we think about how we're going to use this technology, how it's going to change the nature of work, we shouldn't just think about who is exposed, but how it changes what you need to know and who can do it.